It's Turkey's first and largest overseas military base in Africa. It sits along the Indian Ocean on a four kilometer square radius. The construction of this base began in March 2015 and it has three military schools and dormitories. According to Ankara, the base costed slightly more than 50 million US dollars. Top Somali military officials see this base as a solution to rebuilding what they term as a fragmented military that was almost reduced to clan militias. This base will train 15,000 soldiers at one given time. Those who will be trained include military cadets and the infantry. This training facility will put an end to the military causes we used to seek in foreign countries. The opening of this base is a clear testimony of unwavering support accorded to us by Turkey. Prime Minister Hassan al qaire and Turkish top military commander Hulusi Akar jointly opened the base that's located on the outskirts of Mogadishu. We want a competent force that will protect our borders and remain committed to tackling the enemy. We want a force that's not loyal to clan affiliation. We thank Turkey for this base because it's opening a chapter for Somalia to have a functioning force that will be well trained and equipped. Turkey will remain a steadfast partner for Somalia and with the official opening of this huge military facility in the nation's capital, we want to be able to train the Somali army into a competent force that will eventually take full control of the country's national security. Al-Shabaab remains the biggest challenge facing Somalia's federal government and on Friday it overran a military post killing 17 soldiers in southern Somalia. The opening of the new base comes as a relief to Somali authorities, but there's a much bigger challenge to Somalia's efforts in rebuilding its army, a decade-long arms embargo against the country that has denied Mogadishu the ability to equip its forces to properly tackle the militant group head-on. For now, African Union forces are in charge of security in most parts of the country. Mogadishu, however, sees a renewed hope in this Turkish military base. Ankara's involvement in Somalia dates back to 2011, after its president visited the country during the peak of Somalia's famine that claimed quarter a million lives. And in addition to this base, Ankara has opened its biggest diplomatic post in the world here in the capital Mogadishu and has also rebuilt the country's major transit hubs and key roads. Abdul Aziz Bilal, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.